All right, good day students. You're welcome once again to my channel. My name is Mad Bako Emmanuel, your favorite math teacher. Today we shall be looking at the question 9 of the 2019 YEC examination. Now students are um, advised to go through the previous um, videos that we have on the YEC series. So we covered several topics solving each of those questions. Um, the, I understand the Mathematics YEC examination for 2020 is scheduled for 17th. August that is we are just a few days away so um, students you need to just go through the previous videos get acquainted with the solutions and the procedures which is most important so you'll be able to solve other questions all right quickly the number nine question the number nine question is a graph is a graph question I'm not going to plot the graph but I'll just show you how to do it so that when you have your graph sheet you are going to answer that but the a part of the question says we should complete this table and we are giving the information for y. y is equal to 2 cos x plus 3 sin x. Now, what do we do? Solution. We need to complete this table. We've been given the values for x. x is 0, 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 316 degree. But well, our y is giving us what 2 cos x plus 3 sine x now you need to be introducing the, each of these values of x to get the value the corresponding value for y that is how to complete that table so when x is 0 when x is 0 you introduce the value of x here so that you'll be having y equal to 2 cos 0 plus 3 sine zero that's what you do so use your scientific calculator to punch it out i have mine here i'll be having two multiplied by cos zero zero cos plus open bracket of three multiplied by zero sine close the brackets equal to so i'm having my value of y as two Repeat the same thing for 60. Put the value of x at 60 in this equation to get your value of y. So quickly, we just do that. I'll be having 2 multiplied by, when x is 60, that's 60 cos plus open bracket of 3 multiplied by 60 sine close your bracket equal to I have this as three points to two decimal places six zero the next one is 120 when x is 120 I repeat the same thing two multiplied by 120 cos plus open a bracket three multiplied by 120 sign close the bracket equal to have this as 1.60. The next one is 180. I'll have um, 2 multiplied by 180 cos plus open in brackets 3 multiplied by 180 sine. Close the bracket equal to. I have this as negative 2. Then you do for 240. 2 multiplied by 240 cos plus you open a bracket 3 multiplied by 240 sine close the bracket equal to I have negative 3 decimal 5 then the next one is um, 300 put the value of 300 here I'll be having 2 multiplied by 300 cos plus open a bracket 3 multiply by 300 sign close the bracket equal to I'm having this as um, negative 1 decimal 6 zero. then the last one 360 introduce the value 2 multiply by 360 cos plus open a bracket 3 multiply by 360 sign close the bracket equal to I'm having this as 2. All right, we've been able to complete the table, which is the A part of this question. So my x, my y, 
you just complete your table when x is 0 y is 2 when x is 60 y is 3.60 when x is 120 y is 1.60 when x is 180 y is negative 2 when x is 240 y is negative 3 decimal 5 and when x is 300 y is negative 1 decimal 6 and then finally when x is 360 y is 2 so we've completed the table that was that they asked us to complete all right students that's the end of the a part of that question so we'll be looking at what the b part the b part is where the graph is to be plotted i will just show you a schematic of how your graph will look like it's not going to be exact but you have to have an understanding of how the graph is plotted. All right, students, the B part of the question is on the board. It says using a scale of 2 cm to 60 degree on x axis and 2 cm to 1 unit on y axis, draw the graph of y equal to, that's the A part that we saw, y equal to 2 cos x plus 3 sin x for 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 360. Then we have to use the graph to solve these two questions. Now look at your. You know your graph sheet looks this way, you have your y and you have your x. Now I did this this way because my x starts from zero, so I don't, I'm not uh, much concerned with the negative. Don't forget this is your x, x axis, and this is your y axis. All right, the x has, starts from zero, no negative. Negative is this way, positive is this way. Why your y contains some negative? So we have to uh, show our negative and our positive. Now the question says, using a scale of 2 cm to 60 degree. Now your graph is, uh, is uh, graduated in cms. Now each of those thick lines that you are seeing is 1 cm. Now it says using a scale of 2 cm to 60 degree. So each of the 1 cm will be 30 degree. Now your graph is graduated this way. Don't forget, I told you, I'm only just showing you how it will look like. This is not exact, but this is just a representation. They say using a scale of 2 cm to 60 degree. This is my 0, 1 cm, 2 cm. So this will be 60, 120, you jump 1, come here, 180, jump 1, come here, 240, jump 1, come here, 300, jump 1, come here. 360. So we have 360 up to 360. X stop at 360. Then for Y, we do the same thing. But Y is 2 cm to 1 unit. 2 cm to 1 unit. What's my highest value for Y? Positive is 2. Okay, I have 3.6. So I should have up to 4. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have to go up. So let's assume. It's an assumption now. Assume all these ones are to 2 cm. But your graph, don't forget, I told you your graph. You have each of this one as what well, one cm, so you have to jump one and go here. So if this is my zero, this becomes one. But for this, I'm just showing you how your graph will look like. I'll just use here as my one, two, three, four. I come here five. Then this side will be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Now you have to plot these values into this graph. So when x is 0, y is 2. When x is 0, on my y axis, I'll be seeing what? 2. When x is 60, when x is 60, on my y axis is 3.6. When x is 60, y is 3.6 to be around this side. So you come like this, so it is this point. The next one, when x is 120, this is my 120, y is 1 1.6. 1 1.6 to be around this side. This is my 120, so you have it this way. The next one, when x is 180, y is minus 2. So it came down. This is my minus 2, and this is my 180. So it's at this point we meet. Then the next one is when x is 240, y is minus 3.5. This is minus 3, so minus 3.5 is middle here. Come here, 240. You have it at this point. 
where x is 300, you have y as minus 1.6. Minus 1.6. 1.6 would be around this point. You trace it to 300. Trace it to the limit. The where x is 360. This is my 360. This is my 360. My y is 2. 360 to 2. So you come back at this point. Trace it so my 2 will be at this point. Alright, the next thing you now join your graph. Do it like a curve. Comes this way, goes this way. So this is how your graph will look like. Hope I didn't miss out any point here. So this is how your graph will look like. You can decide to still drag here down. Now we've drawn the graph, which is the first part of the question. The second one now says use the graph to solve this. You are giving this equation. Don't forget that everything here is equal to y. So what the question is asking you is find x when y is minus 1. That's the first, that's the number 1. It says 2 cos x plus 3 sin x equal to minus 1. And don't forget y is equal to all this. So when y is minus 1, let's look for a minus 1. This is my minus 1. I trace it to my x value. Yeah, it touches this line reach the value here. I have 120, in between will be 150, so I can assume it is about 160. So my x will be equal to 160 degree. It's an assumption. When you do it on your own graph sheet, you'll be able to tell the exact point so that you don't assume. Then the second one says what? The second one says when x is 342, so threes, this is 300, in between is 330, so 342 would be between 330 and 360, so I'm close to 330. So let's assume 342 is here. This is my 342, my x value. Trace it on this point to where it touches this graph and then read the value. Just drag it to the value of y and then you read the value here. So if this is 1, this is zero, it's close to zero, than, it's less than 0 0.5, so let's assume my y is 0 0.3. Alright, so now that's the solution for question 9. So you are going to solve, you are going to plot that graph accurately on your graph sheet, so you'll be able to get the accurate values. Now if you enjoyed this class, just click on the like button and also click on the subscribe button. Now, also leave notification on so that you'll be informed when our next video drops. I celebrate you.